Today we'll be solving the systems of equations using the equal values method. Now in the equal values method, we see two equations in our system, and both of those equations are in the y equals mx plus b form. When we graph these two equations, the solution to the system is where those two lines cross each other. So in the directions, it says solve the following systems by using the equal values method. Now in this first equation, we have y equals negative 4x and y equals negative 3x plus 2. Now one thing to remember is that we can say y equals y. Of course, if I substitute in the number 2 for y, 2 is going to equal 2. Therefore, with these two equations here, we are going to take what y equals with each of these equations and set them equal to each other. And in this situation, we will see y is equal to negative 4x. So we're going to put that on the left-hand side, and we're going to set it equal to the second equation where it says y is equal to a negative 3x plus 2. Now, this equation, we have variables on both sides. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for the variable x. Well, I can do that by adding 3x to both sides. Next, we subtract or combine like terms, negative 4x plus 3x is a negative x. We're keeping our equal signs in line with each other. Negative 3x plus 3x cancels each other out, and we're going to bring down the remaining part of the equation, which is 2. Now, this is not necessarily x by itself yet because we have a negative x, and this is going to be an imaginary one here. So really, we have to divide both sides by a negative 1 so we can get a positive x in our answer. So negative and a negative, or dividing by a negative, is x equals, and this is a positive 2, divided by a negative 1 is a negative 2. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the value of x is a negative 2. Now, in our solution, because ultimately we want to find a solution that has an ordered pair to tell us the exact point where those two lines by these two equations falls at. And so our first x value is negative 2, but we still need to find the y value. Now, to find the y value, we can plug in x equals negative 2 into one of these equations, and then we will find the y value. So I'm going to select, it doesn't matter, first of all, I'm going to select the first equation, but it does not matter which equation because they're both going to give you the exact same answer. So let's see, I'm going to look and substitute negative 2 in for y equals negative 4x. So I always replace the variable that I'm plugging in by a parenthesis, and so I am going to plug in a negative 2 right here. And so y is equal to a positive 8. This tells me what my y value is. And so I can go ahead and plug the y value here and be a positive 8. So the solution or the answer to this system when I solve it using the equal values method is negative 2, positive 8. And that's where those two linear functions or those two lines are going to cross at that exact point. Now, I want to show you in this video that if I chose the second equation to plug in the negative 2, that we'd come up with the same answer. So I have negative 3x, and I'm going to replace that x with parentheses, so I could plug in that negative 2 plus 2, let's see, let's plug in that negative 2. So here we go. 
y equals a negative 3 times a negative 2 is a positive 6 plus 2 more. So y is equal to 6 plus 2, a positive 8. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So my suggestion to you, when you are plugging in the x value into one of these two equations, I'd pick the easiest one. One probably without the negative. If they both have negatives, what you feel most comfortable with because you're going to get the same answer. Let's go ahead and try another equation. Go ahead and put one back. Let's try this one. And in this equation, we have y equals a negative 4x minus 1 and y equals 2x plus 5. This system has both of them exactly in the y equals mx plus b form, and so I'm ready to go. Remember what we talked about, that y is equal to y. Therefore, I could plug in a negative 4x minus 1 for what this y value is. And then the next one, I set it equal to 2x plus 5. Now let's go ahead and solve. We can solve by subtracting 2x on both sides. This gives me a negative 6x minus 1, the 2, positive 2, and the negative 2 form 0. And so I'm going to bring down a positive 5. Now I'm going to head and add 1 to both sides. This cancels out. Therefore, I will have a negative 6x is equal to a positive 6. Let's go ahead and solve for x by dividing by a negative 6 on both sides. Forgot my fraction right there, fraction bar. And therefore, my final answer is x equals, and notice this is a positive 6, so positive and a negative, when I divide them, is a negative, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So solving for x is equal to 1. Now, which equation should I plug this in? Well, I have one that has a negative, and I know when I multiply two negatives together, I'm going to get a positive answer, or I can go ahead and multiply a negative by a positive doesn't matter. I'm just going to choose the first one, the top one, and that is y equals a negative 4x, and I'm going to substitute that x for parentheses so I know where the negative 1 is going to be plugged into, and then negative 4x, then minus 1, because this is the for this equation. So here we go to solve. A negative 4 times a negative 1 is a positive 4. And I bring down the negative 1. So y is equal to a positive 3. Now I'm not quite finished because I need to tell what the solution is. At what point on the coordinate graph is these two linear functions going to meet up? And the answer is my x value is a negative 1. My y value is a positive 3. And that's where they will crisscross. So there will be part 2 to this video where I will do more problems like this. So please click on the video link after this video has ended.